Hey peeps, in today's video, we'll be tuning up our settings in Lightburn to improve the results of our laser engraving projects. This video idea came from a comment on one of our videos that outlined the process of how we can improve our engraving results, so a huge thanks to them. Also, we'll be using our MomPort 55W CO2 laser, and if you're interested in this laser, you can use our code ANONYMOUS10 for 10% off. Okay, so in order to test out where we're at currently, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of set up some rectangles here. We want to make sure that they're long enough for the laser to kind of get to full speed. If we made them too small, then the laser really never gets to full speed and you never kind of see some of the issues that could be facing you. So we're just gonna make some extra long rectangles here. Just gonna copy that because we are going to do this uh, five different times for 100 millimeters per minute, 200 millimeters per minute, all the way to 500. And then I think what I'll do, instead of just copying this, I'm just gonna use this tool here. Perfect. And then I'm gonna add some text. Okay, good enough. And then now what I'm gonna do is each of these rectangles, I'm gonna give a different setting. Okay, so for our first setting, we're gonna make sure we uh, set this to 100 millimeters per second. And we want it very low power because we don't want, or we want to clearly see the line engraved. Um, we don't want us to be kind of looking at char lines. So we're gonna make sure that we have very low power here. So we'll do 20%. And then for our interval here, in order for us to see where the lines are uh, as it goes back and forth, we're gonna make this kind of really obvious. Uh, so we're gonna set this up to be something ridiculous, like 0.7 millimeters separated across. That way we'll be able to clearly see each line and be able to measure. So we're gonna do 0 0.07 interval for each of these settings, and then we're gonna put them on different layers here so that we can ensure that we have the settings exactly the same where we need to be, and they're different, i.e. the speed for, we can show those differences. So we're all set up here. Uh, and this is gonna be kind of our default here to kind of see where our issues are. For this test, we need to make sure we turn off the crosshatch in the cut settings editor. Also, we don't want our lines to be engraving at a 45 degree angle. And now we're ready to engrave this out. All right, so we're here on the digital microscope here and kind of want to show you what we're talking about. So I try to get myself in frame here. So what we're looking at here is the individual lines uh, as the laser travels. So this first line, the laser travels from left to right. So it goes like this and then it comes back and it fires on the next line, which is this one. And you can see that there's kind of a, a slight 
mismatch where the lines create that vertical line. This is really subtle and hard to tell as you are looking at a regular engraving because these lines kind of mix together as it's going, but we separated it out on purpose so that we could, we could see this. Now, this 100 millimeters per second line is not terrible. Now we can make improvements here, but what I really wanna show you is uh, as we pick up the speed, how much more obvious uh, these lines get. So right here we're at 300 and you could see there's a huge difference here, certainly measurable, where we can adjust when the laser starts firing, start firing a little bit early so that it starts where it's supposed to be and ends where it's supposed to be. And then uh, turn it a little bit here to see your 500, uh, but you can see that there's certainly a big difference here. And this is what causes some uh, blurry engraving as you move faster and faster. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna pull out our digital calipers and do some measurements. And our light burn is set up to accept inches for our offset adjustment, um, but obviously we could do this in millimeters as well. We are talking fractions of millimeters here and obviously fractions of inches. So for our 100 speed, get this in frame. I mean, we're not talking a lot here. We're talking just a tad. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and write these down for our 100 speed, 0 0.0035, or 200 millimeters per second, 0 0.008. Three hundred point zero one seven five four hundred point zero one seven and five hundred point zero two six. So we're back here in Lightburn, and now we're gonna go ahead and input the measurements that we got in our scanning offset adjustment. And this is kind of the key of getting crisp lines in your laser. And this is gonna be different on any particular laser. Uh, so it's really important that you get some refined measurements. And you can always do a little trial and error to get as close as possible. Obviously you don't need a digital microscope to get some of these measurements in, uh, but it certainly does help. So in order to uh, get this, we're gonna go ahead and enable our scanning offset adjustment. Go ahead and click that. And then we're gonna add. So for our speed of 100 millimeters per second, uh, you can see here ours is in inches. We can change this in millimeters if we uh, set our units in, in millimeters. We got 0 0.0035. Two hundred point zero zero eight, and then we're just going to keep doing this for each of our speeds. Okay, so once we have all of that saved, we're going to go ahead and click OK, and then we're going to run this again, send this to the laser, and see how we did. Okay, so we're back here at the digital microscope with our first results, and we have a bit better results here. Uh, still kind of a little bit off here for 100. Let's go down to 300 real quick because it actually kind of shows a problem that we have. Our laser is firing too soon and we're having kind of like equal but opposite results here. So before, let me show you what 300 looked like on the first engraving. You can see there was a delay in the laser firing here and then it shot a little bit too far here. Now on our second one with our first measurements, now we fired too soon and it stopped firing uh, a little bit short. I think what we need to do is kind of divide our value, our measured value by two, because I think we want to end up somewhere in the middle, the sweet spot. What we're gonna do here for our second test is we're gonna take each of our values and divide them by two to see if we get a much straighter line, because this is, again, not the results that we want. And if you look here at 500, I have to spin it around here. 
at 500, you can see again, we're having the exact same result, but the opposite way. This right here is the top line. So let's get back into Lightburn and do those adjustments and see what we get. Okay, so here in Lightburn, I'm gonna go back to my laser settings or device settings. And then now I can just adjust these. Just double click on the line. Okay, now we'll go back to the machine and test this out again. All right, so back here on the digital microscope, and we're just kind of looking at it from the, the left-hand side, but you can see here that we have a little bit too much, uh, but we can, re we can fine tune that on here. But what I would really want to show here is at 500 speed, look how, how much better that is. And again, there's some more fine, re uh, fine tuning that we can do. We can just go in and adjust those very slightly to get uh, somewhat better results. This is really good much, much better results. This one needs some work here, uh, but this at 200 uh, millimeters per second is probably perfect. And then we can get some slight adjustments here, just a little bit, but I just kind of want to remind you what the first 500 looked like. Here's Here's our 500 now, and this is what it was before. So obviously something is working here um, nope, that's 400, 500 just here. Uh, so obviously something is working here in our settings. Uh, so we just need to fine tune this a little bit, run some more tests, and we can get these actually dialed in perfectly. But so far, good results. Improving the results of your, your laser engraving uh, can give you sharper results. Here's our, looking at our 100. Again, these are all with the default settings, no scanning offset input. Here's what our 100 looked like before. And then here's what it looks like after. So you can see much, much cleaner line all the way down. So it's, it's actually visibly, you can see the difference in how much sharper our engraving is now with that scanning offset adjustment versus without it. We ended up doing a few more tests and we were able to fine tune our engraving settings even more. The links to the laser and microscope we used in this video will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope it helped.